Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'm going to continue my series talking about Netflix original films, and today I'm going to talk about I.O. So I.O. is this post-apocalyptic film where you're following the main characters that are both played by Anthony Mackie and Margaret Qualley, and it's pretty basic. It has, it's a very dismal post-apocalyptic future where most of humanity has fled the earth, and there's only very few people left, and basically the environment, the air, has pockets that are just killing people. The earth's become uninhabitable. It's almost like a, um, I would say like an interstellar. That's how interstellar is going towards the end of that film where, you know, the world's, you can't grow anything, things are dying, the air is bad. It's basically what it is. It's your generic end of the world scenario. In this film, a scientist that's played by Margaret Qualley is basically trying to prove that her father, who was a scientist as well, was right and that you can, you know, people can remain on Earth. We don't have to leave Earth. We can make it inhabitable again. There's ways to cure this, the ways we can get out of it. And Anthony Mackie's character is just trying to flee the Earth, and she, he falls upon her, and they meet up together, and then there's like a bit of a romantic connection, and they come together, and it's like them trying to survive and decide whether to stay. He wants to go, she wants to stay, back and forth. It's, it's very slow. The movie is extremely slow. I think it looks really good. I think that the filming style of it, the cinematography is pretty good. I think the set designs were interesting. It created a very believable apocalypse, a very believable world that has been abandoned by humanity. And I like that. I've always liked that in movies. It may be really cliche and really overused. We saw a million movies like this, especially a few years ago. But I liked that part of the film. And that's basically where I stopped liking it. I think the characters themselves were pretty boring. The acting was fine. It wasn't anything to write home about. It kind of felt like if you've seen the film Z for Zachariah with Chris Pine and Margot Robbie, this felt like a cheap version of that film. It felt like there was a similar story where it's a love connection in a post-apocalyptic world and trying to deal with that, surviving, being together. It, it just felt like that. It felt like something you've seen before. It felt like every other post-apocalyptic movie. And it just didn't bring anything new to the table. Nothing about it was interesting or exciting. The ending of the film is something that people might find interesting. I think that it's pretty ambiguous, and I don't have a huge issue with the way the film ends, but it feels very flat. It feels like the movie ends on a pretty flat note. And I just feel like the whole build, the slow build of the movie did pay off for the end. It's a very slow build along the way. And you're waiting for kind of a climactic ending. And you don't get it. And I think that's the biggest drawback to this film is you can have a slow movie like this, slow post-apocalyptic movie that's kind of dragging along and it's dreary and depressing. And, but you have like a very triumphant end or a very you know, heart-wrenching or shocking end of the film. And this just didn't have either. And I think that was really what held it back between just being boring, having pretty flat acting, and just kind of a slow story that didn't feel like it paid off. So if I were to rate this movie, I would give it a 4 out of 10. I think it had its merits. I think that it had some really good cinematography. I think it had some interesting ideas. I think that the acting was there. The, the abilities were there. I think the ideas were there. I just think the ending, they didn't stick the landing, and I think it just fell flat. I think it's a movie that had a lot of potential and maybe could have dealt with some more characters we could have had some more going on and some more conflict it just felt like i said just felt very boring all right guys so our netflix series isn't starting off too well two movies that i really didn't enjoy that much but like i said in the last one let me know what you thought about this film maybe you enjoyed it maybe you really got something out of it you felt more and learned more about it than i did so put the comments down below remember to like and subscribe and see you guys next time